A pitch drop experiment is a long-term experiment which measures the flow of a piece of pitch over many years. Pitch is a viscoelastic polymer, which can be natural or manufactured, derived from petroleum, coal tar, or plants. Various forms of pitch may also be called tar, bitumen, or asphalt. Pitch produced from plants is also known as resin. The terms tar and pitch are often used interchangeably, However, pitch is considered more viscous, while tar is less viscous. Viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. It describes the internal friction of a moving fluid. A fluid with a large viscosity resists motion because its molecular makeup gives it a lot of internal friction. The purpose of this experiment is to demonstrate that some substances which appear solid are actually highly viscous fluids. The best-known version of the experiment was started in 1927 by Professor Thomas Parnell of the University of Queensland in Australia. Parnell poured a heated sample of pitch into a sealed funnel and allowed it to settle for three years. In 1930, the seal at the neck of the funnel was cut, allowing the pitch to start flowing. It is expected that there is at least enough pitch in the funnel to allow it to continue for at least another hundred years. A bell jar was put over the top as protection and the experiment put on public display in the university where it remains today. The experiment can also be viewed in real time via live stream. Large droplets of the pitch form and fall over a period of around a decade. When the eighth drop fell in the year 2000, they were able to calculate the pitch as having a viscosity of approximately 230 billion times that of water. As of 2021, the most recent pitch drop was in 2014 and was recorded on webcam. This ninth drop fell on top of the eighth drop. However, as previous drops had left less room for the drop to cleanly fall, the ninth drop was still attached to the funnel. Soon after, the current custodian of the experiment, Professor Andrew White, decided to replace the beaker holding the previous eight drops, before the ninth drop fused to them, which would have permanently affected the ability of further drops to form. While the bell jar was being lifted, the wooden base wobbled and the ninth drop snapped away from the funnel. The beaker was still replaced to make room for the next drop, and the current drops can be seen sitting next to the experiment. The experiment was not originally carried out under any specific controlled atmospheric conditions, meaning the viscosity could vary throughout the year with fluctuations in temperature. Sometime after the seventh drop fell, in 1988, air conditioning was added to the location where the experiment takes place. This has lowered the average temperature and lengthened each drop's stretch before it separates from the rest of the pitch in the funnel. The typical interval between drops increased from around 8 years to 12 to 13 years. The experiment has had only three custodians since its inception. Professor Parnell passed away in 1948. Then, in 1961, Professor John Mainstone became the second official custodian. In 2005, John Mainstone and the late Thomas Parnell were awarded the Ig Nobel Prize in Physics, a parody of the Nobel Prize. Following Mainstone's death in 2013, Professor Andrew White was named as the new custodian. The Australian experiment is recorded in the Guinness World Records as the world's longest continuously running laboratory experiment. This experiment is predated by two other still active experiments, the Oxford Electric Bell and the Beverly Clock, However, each of these has experienced brief interruptions, making the pitch drop the front-runner. In 1944, a similar pitch drop experiment was started at Trinity College Dublin in Ireland. It dripped a number of times from the funnel to the receiving jar below. However, the experiment sat unmonitored on a shelf, collecting dust for decades. The pitch dropped again in 2013, and this time was caught on camera making it the first drop to ever be successfully recorded. In 2014, the media reported that a pitch drop experiment, started in 1914, had been rediscovered in Wales. As the pitch used is more viscous, or the average temperature is lower than the other experiments, this experiment has not yet produced its first drop, and is not expected to for over 1,000 years.